Hope you're hungry. We're talking about Cafe Merlot today, and we have a great deal. So grab your date, grab your kids, head on down there. We're talking to Tony and Bruce today. Thank you guys so much for coming. That's yeah, our pleasure. Our pleasure, yeah. Tell me uh, what you're known for at Cafe Merlot. Uh, well, we have our micro farm in the back uh, of the historic Bernardo Winery. Um, mm -hmm. So we pick vegetables and fresh herbs, and we do a lot of cooking with that. It's not a uh, health food restaurant per se, but there's always an emphasis on good, fresh, healthy uh, foods in most of the recipes that we have. So that's, that's what I what noticed the most about taking a look at you, some of your recipes and some of your menu items. Fresh, right. fresh, fresh is what you're all about. Right. We make almost everything from scratch. That is so wonderful. Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite thing on the menu there? Oh, wow. I think our my favorite items are our vinaigrettes and our salads. It's something that we can pretty much just pick from the earth that morning and create that afternoon using all of our freshest ingredients. So it has to be my favorite. Okay, wonderful. And tell us uh, where you're located. We're located, as Bruce mentioned, at the historic Bernardo Winery on the cusp of Poway and Rancho Bernardo, mm -hmm. so about 20 minutes away from uh, your uh, location here. And we're right in the heart of Seven Oaks, Oaks North, and North County Inland. So it's pretty much kind of in the back porch of San Diego, right before you hit all the uh, outskirts of uh, the, you know, the area. Can't beat that. If you mm -hmm. want to get out of town, just by a little bit, it's very perfect. Very true. Very true. Okay, perfect. So what are we making here today? Well, we're going to try to make two things. One is I'm going to make a bean and artichoke salad, mm -hmm. uh, but it's got a lot of other stuff in it. And really, the, the lesson we're trying to learn is that whatever you may have in your garden in the back or whatever you have in your refrigerator, stuff you already know you like because that's why it's there. Okay. So it's go through that, put together a nice salad with sort of what's handy, flavor it the way you want to. Um, we're going to be using for the vinaigrette dressing, it's a, it's a lemon vinaigrette, so mm -hmm. we're going to use some lemon juice, but we're going to also use some blood oranges and some mandarin oranges as well to add a little bit of flavor along with the rice vinegar. So okay. it's, it's the also the lesson is trying to, to don't uh, just follow the recipe the way it's written. Follow the recipe's guidelines and emphasis. So if it needs acid, pick the acid you like. If it needs oils, pick the oils you like. That sort of thing. Perfect. Okay, let's get started. I'll just kind of watch you and you can instruct us how to do this. Oh, I have to do this? Oh, yes, my goodness. I've got to hold the microphone Okay, so mixing bowl, artichokes, artichoke hearts. You can have your own fresh ones. You can use bottoms. And you or you can use others, and then some white beans. Mm -hmm. You can canned are okay, but uh, soaking fresh white beans overnight, or any bean that you like, and then cooking them next day is really the best way to go. Okay. We have some kalamata olives. We're going to add to it. Toss it around. We're going to have some fresh tomato. These are actually chopped heirloom tomatoes. It smells delicious yeah. already. Very yeah. fresh ingredients, yep. folks. Very at Cafe Merlot. Ingredients. Some cremini mushrooms, which is uh, another name for a uh, portobello. It's a baby portobello without gills. Mm -hmm. We have some fresh zucchini. I have some fresh onion. Some fresh scallions from the back from the uh, from the garden. Uh, some red bell pepper, but it can be any bell pepper. You can mix them. It can be red, green, yellow, or some combination thereof. Some carrots. Some fresh garlic, which is even going to go into the dressing <laughs> as well, <laughs> because we can never li live without garlic. And then. I'm going to put it in a bit later. This is actually Ma um, Meyer lemon zest. Mm -hmm. I've zested the, the lemon. That's also going to go into the dressing. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is just sort of mix this up a little bit. Mix it all in. Yep. Then I'm going to make dressing in the blender over there. Blender's a great thing. The idea of whisking and all that stuff is fine if you like the exercise, but I'll take a blender any day. So even the dressings are fresh at Cafe Merlot. That yes. Is, that they're, is they're so all, wonderful. They're all made from scratch. Okay, fantastic. So what, co what goes into the dressing specifically? Uh, we're going to have olive oil is going to be the final ingredient, but it's rice vinegar, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to squeeze some of these uh, citrus items into it as well. Okay. I'm going to put in the, the zest. I'm going to put in some garlic. I'm going to put in a little bit of cinnamon and thyme and some honey mustard. Okay, we're almost out of time, so can we oh. show folks real quick how to make the dressing? Okay, gotcha. Let's, let's do that. So let's do a little bit of vinegar. This is rice vinegar. Okay. There's the zest, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of honey mustard, and some basil. And now I'm going to put the top on and find my olive oil. There okay. we go. And then you blend it all together. Okay, we want to tell you real quick about a great deal that we have. Uh, SanDiegoStix.com, click on Meals and Steals. You can get half off your dinner package at Cafe Merlot. There's the information there on your screen. Go ahead and uh, say hello to Tony and Bruce, and um, they will take care of you. You can have one of these great salads and all the other things on the menu. Guys, thanks so much for okay. coming. Very welcome. I'll finish this up, and you can have a taste. I love it. Thank you so much.